Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and today we're celebrating with Altenew for their ninth anniversary. I'll be using a couple stamp sets and this first one is called Bold Messages and it has over 16 sentiments and these are really great to use your favorite colored inks and add them to your cards. Next is the Climbing Leaves stamp set. It's six by eight and the main feature of the image is six by six. And then at the bottom, it has some messages that you can pair along with it. And finally, I'll also be using the Coordinating Climbing Leaves die to cut out some of the areas in between the leaves. I'll be using the stamping wheel to stamp this image onto some Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock and I'm using the smooth side up. I've also placed my stamp into the center of the top part of the stamping wheel, but first I need to prepare my paper since I'll be heat embossing. So I'm going to be using the new Simon Says Stamp powder tool to brush a light coating of powder over top. And then with my stamp on top of the platform, I'm going to ink this up really well with the Simon Says Stamp clear embossing ink. And once that's inked up, I can flip this over and place it into the notches of the platform and press down to get my impression. Next, I can remove the stamp and I'll inspect my piece to make sure I have it stamped well before adding my embossing powder. And I'll be using the Simon Says Stamp Clear Detail Powder to trap that image into the white cardstock. I prefer to use the Clear Detail Powder because it's a smaller granules than white powder, and it works really well with the inking technique that I'll be using. And once it's completely covered with the embossing powder, I'll run my heat gun over top until all the areas are embossed. And now for the fun part, I have my embossed piece and I'll be using some Distress Sprays and I have Twisted Citron, Peeled Paint, Salvage Patina, and Peacock Feathers. And I'll be spraying these in different areas onto my cardstock so that I can get a nice blend. So I'll start with the Twisted Citron and go in some of the corners, then add some Peeled Paint, Salvage Patina, and finally some Peacock Feathers to fill in. Next, I'll be spraying this with a bit of water to get the inks to spread out and blend together. I've left my panels to sit and dry. I don't like to use a heat tool. I like it to naturally dry so that all those inks will seep in and to blot up some of that excess ink and also to wipe off the embossing powder. I'm just using a white paper towel to go over top. And once all the areas feel dry, I'll rub this down with a paper towel just to clean off the embossing powder. And now I'm ready to use the coordinating die on top, so I'll match up my design and tape this together and run it through my die cut machine. And now I can use a pick tool to start clearing out and weeding some of those cut out areas of the design. Next, I'm using some of the Simon's Stamp Foam Squares and I'm adding different sizes to the back so they'll fit in all those areas of this design so I can put it onto some cardstock. And once I've peeled off the backing of those foam squares, I can put this onto a top folding A2 note card. This gives this background a little bit of depth and dimension, and I still have the shine from that embossing powder on top. For my message, I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Handwritten Hello, and this is a two-piece die. And the back piece I will be cutting in silver, and the front piece I've cut from white cardstock. And I'll be stacking these up so that they have some dimension and look like chipboard. And to glue these together, I like to use the Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue, and I just add little dots of glue to the front piece. And then I can add the next piece on top and make sure I have everything aligned before pressing it down. Next, I've stamped Thinking of You with Simon Says Stamp Ocean Ink, and I'll be cutting this out using my everyday scissors and just leaving a little white border around the outside. I'm using Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue to add some glue to the back of my hello, and I'll be placing this right of center on my card. And for the stamped message, I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Foam Squares, and these are the quarter inch, and they fit perfectly on a sentiment strip or even the stamped message. I'll peel off the backing and place it on my card right under that hello. And finally, I'll add a few sequins around my messages just to give it a little bit of shine. I hope you've enjoyed our contribution to the Altenew 9th Anniversary Blog Hop. 
Be sure to check the links below in the description box for all the supplies that I've used and also a link to our blog post with more information about the Alta New 9th anniversary. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.